I just purchased 100,000 comic books. Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. To be honest with you, this video is like no other video that I have done. If you have been part of this channel, you know that I love to hunt, that I've done countless videos on books that I've purchased. I've done all types of hauls and all that kind of stuff. But this, this is nothing, nothing like anything that I've ever done. And it has honestly taken me a little over a year to complete this purchase. And it honestly didn't take that long because of the money. It actually took me a considerable amount of time to wrap my mind around this purchase. When I first saw this collection many, many months ago, it was it was daunting. It was daunting for me to have an opportunity to get access to this collection. And I don't know if you've like you you've been to comic shops. If you're watching this video, you have been to comic shops and you've been to cons and things like that and you've seen books and stuff like that. But I don't know if any of you have ever seen a personal collection that is a hundred thousand comics. That's basically what we are talking about right now. And it is, it's a lot. And so the first time that I was exposed to it, I was trying to wrap my mind around, is this something that I can purchase? Is this something that I can take on? Is this something that I really want or need? And, and it took me some time to kind of work my way through it. And, and to be honest with you, I would I would ramp myself up to do it and then I would talk myself off and I would ramp myself up and I would, and this went on for more than a year as I kind of went through um, this emotional roller coaster of trying to figure out whether this is something that I wanted to take on. And for some reason or another, all of the stars aligned for this to happen. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on how much I paid or who I bought it from or, or some of that other stuff, but there were a lot of things that, that had to go right for this to happen. And they all did. They all lined up for some reason or another, and, and this came to fruition. And so the collection was basically picked up on a Wednesday, uh, and then it was basically driven down to me and arrived on a Friday. I then unpacked it, and uh, I honestly unpacked it and had to rush back to work. I didn't even get an opportunity to actually enjoy it. Uh, so I went back for a second day, which you guys will see here in just a moment. But I went back and and I took a moment inside of the storage facility to just appreciate what I had just accomplished. And it is incredible. It is incredible. Um, I don't know if I'll ever buy another book again. <laughs> But I, I have like spent the last day or so, uh, you know, going through books in the storage facility, taking uh, bins from the storage facility back here to my house where I had an opportunity to go through them a little bit. And it's just it is I'm having so much fun 
just hunting in this collection and I'm finding so many different books that are just incredible books for for my personal collection and so I'm just I'm really having a, a fantastic time with this um, and a lot of you are probably wondering so like what's next you know, I've, I've had people ask me, you know, are you opening a comic book shop? And there may be people that are thinking about that right now. Uh, the answer is no, I'm not going to open up a comic shop. People may be asking, am I going to sell some of the books? And right now, no, I'm not going to be selling anything. I am honestly just enjoying the moment right now. Um, and so I don't know fully what the future holds. But what I will tell you is that I will probably do a video or two about it. <laughs> you can you can count on that. Um, the other thing that people are probably wondering right now is what types of books were actually in the collection. And I'll give you some idea of it and then I'll actually show you a couple of books uh, that I've pulled from the collection. This was a single owner collection uh, is a gentleman that owned this collection that had collected for, I think, an extended period of time, maybe starting in the 80s all the way up to like like the 2002-6 time frame, maybe. I'm still trying to sort out where the upper end and lower ends are, but there is a spectrum of books in here. I probably have more DC books now than I actually do Marvel books. And so there is a healthy, healthy amount of DC in there. There's a lot of Marvel. There's some Valiant. Uh, there's some image stuff in there. There is superhero stuff. Um, there, there is moderns, bronze, a uh, little bit of Silver Age stuff in there. I mean, it, it really runs the gamut. And, and we're not talking just a copy of a book. We're talking multiple copies of many books, especially books from the 90s, um, which is not surprising, right? I mean, I've actually found um, what I think are sealed shipments from Diamond in the collection. So I'm guessing at one point in time, uh, this guy actually had a uh, an account with Diamond because, or just bought wholesale, if you will, from an LCS because they're still like bound copies of books that look like they came directly from Diamond. So it really does run the gamut in terms of what's all in there. And I'm actually thinking about doing a revival of a series that I used to do in the past called Digging In My Shorts. Uh, and it's, it's basically that series was about me going through my own collection and basically showing you guys some of the books that are in my collection. And now that my personal collection is is 100,000 comics plus, I think that it may be time to revive that, uh, that series and actually show you guys, you know, on an ongoing basis, the different types of books that are in my collection. And like I said, there is a, there is a ton of just about everything. So with that, let me show you guys uh, some some of the books that are in the collection, uh, I'm not going to show a ton, I'm not going to show a ton, but I will show a couple here. This is actually a book that I had never seen before, and I'm actually looking forward to reading this. I want to say that this is actually written by Chris Claremont, but I need to sort that out um, before I go in depth. But this is uh, Phoenix, The Untold Story. And uh, according to the cover, this is uh, the original uncensored, never before published conclusion to the saga of the Phoenix. And so I think that that's who wrote this was Clarice Claremont. But again, there's multiple copies of this book in there. And I'm looking forward to reading that. I think that's going to be a really cool series to read. There is, of course, a, a lot of really cool, amazing Spider-Man books in there. You guys know I uh, have an affinity for, uh, for Spider-Man. So cool uh this is uh amazing spider-man 607 love that cover right there there is a 611 in here 650 the big time right there have a couple of these well all of these already 654 a couple of really cool ones in here i'm gonna scroll through there is i uh, just talked about this book recently silver surfer number one um i think i talked about that in one of the videos that's issue number two sorry about that uh here is silver surfer number one cool book 
couple of copies of that one showing those because I was just doing that series on the Heralds of Galactus. That is Silver Surfer 44, first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. A uh, couple of copies of this one right here, Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, no newsstands, but a couple of copies of that. A few copies of that, New Mutants, uh, number 87. Uh, several copies of that. A few copies of that one, New Mutants 98. Uh, no newsstands as I'm flipping through several copies. Black Panther number one. Can't go wrong with the Black Panther. Uh, Harley Quinn number one. Definitely a cool book right there. And um, The Killing Joke. Several copies of this. I think this is the first print, but I think I also have a fifth print in here as well. Um, first appearance of the New Mutants, Amazing Heroes number 16. That's a pretty cool book right there. That's a cool book. That's cool. There are copies of one of... Oh, this is... I think that this is Alex Ross's signature on this copy of Marvel's. This is a book... I actually had one copy of this before that I actually gave away when I first came back into the hobby. I didn't really realize what it was when I bought a collection and it actually given it away. But I think that both copies of these are actually signed by Alex Ross right there. Definitely need to take a closer look at these. But uh, if you have not read the Marvel series... It is really, really good. Um, I'm going to skip over that one because I'm actually going to do a separate video about the book that I just looked at. Here is um, Batman Adventures number 12, the first appearance of Harley Quinn. Cool book. Let's see what else I have in here. Uh, I'm going to skip over a lot of this other stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to save most of this stuff for another day. Yeah, so we'll, we'll cut it off there. Um, I've started to pull some books for some future videos that I want to do. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm seeing and all of these different ideas are kind of percolating in my mind. So I don't want to give away too much because again, uh, I think there's a lot more videos that are actually going to come as a result of this. But I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And if you did, I certainly want to encourage you to uh, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I definitely want to encourage you to hit the subscription button, turn on notifications so that you can stay abreast of all of the content that I release here from the channel. With that, I'm going to wrap it up. But if you need to reach me, you can absolutely do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. So I am sitting outside of the storage facility right now. Uh, this is basically day two. And yesterday was, was day one, right? Obviously, uh, it was where we basically unloaded the truck, loaded everything into the storage facility. And then I immediately shut the door and left. And I had to leave because I had some work related things that I needed to get back to. And so I didn't even have five minutes to sit back and enjoy uh, what had just been accomplished. And so today is uh, that day. Today is the day where I'm actually going to go back and uh, in here in just a second and, and take a look around and kind of see what's what. Uh, you may be able to see in the background right there, there, there are a couple of boxes uh, in the back of the car. I, I took some of them from the truck yesterday loaded them to the car I took them to the house last night and I kind of went through a couple of them uh, so I'm going to take those back inside and, and take a couple of extra boxes home when I when I go back in just a few moments but uh, it, it is uh, definitely a surreal thing to realize that you now have a personal collection that is as large as this one is uh, and I am I am allowing myself starting today to just sit back and enjoy that to enjoy the success if you will right of, of having uh, achieved a goal and so um today's going to be a good day today is going to be a good day and i definitely want to encourage you guys to stay tuned uh because there is more to come I, uh, 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 uh.